My name is Elvira Vasquez and I work at Army Community Service as a financial readiness specialist. The woman that most resonates with me is Ms. Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony was born in 1820 into a Quaker family who considered women and men equal. Anthony spent her life working for equality and promoted temperance and the abolition of slavery. She's best known as a leader in the women's suffrage movement. Anthony was a member of the Equal Rights Association and a founder of the National Women's Suffrage Association. In 1872, she was arrested and convicted for voting. She fought for women's equality until she died in 1906. I was raised in a first-generation immigrant Mexican household. My parents both crossed over from Mexico to California in the late 50s and 60s. I was brought up around what has been termed as machismo culture. Machismo is learned through social interactions and instilled in boys at the moment of birth through their adulthood. They are quickly taught to not cry or share emotions. Given more freedoms than females, rewarded as womenizers, taught to be breadwinners, and the source of stability of a household. They are also taught that a female must never question their authority as a male. And if they do, they must be punished violently, which can be result in a cycle of violence that a woman sometimes cannot afford to leave. Women are taught that this behavior is acceptable. Susan B. Anthony resonates with me because I was raised around the machismo culture, but my mother and father immigrated to the United States in pursuit of a better life. In other words, to break the cycle and for their future children to have better opportunities in life than they had. My mother and father encouraged me to become my own person, pursue a higher education, pursue my own career, achieve self-reliance, and to be self-sufficient. This can only be accomplished with equal opportunities within the social structure. Sure, there are always glass ceilings that need to be shattered, but the only person that can stop you from shattering those glass ceilings is yourself. Susan B. Anthony clearly exemplified that with her fight for women's rights, and I live by that notion every day. Susan B. Anthony is a past. I am the present and for the women of the future. Like I would tell my daughter, she does Taekwondo and she's a brown belt. Hit like a girl because even though you are not a boy, you are just as strong.